guys welcome back to my channel I know I'm still sounding a little bit congested I'm still getting over that really really nasty cold but I'm doing so so much better so thank you for all of your well wishes but today I'm actually here to do a quick review and demo on the Troy Arike A plus cushion which is actually very very similar to a cushion I reviewed a while back and was actually sent by Troy Arike themselves the H plus cushion so when I heard that they came out with a second cushion that was similar in formula but had different features I just had to have it for myself and I decided to purchase it myself so naturally I've been using it for a while and I have developed some thoughts and opinions and thought it would be worth a share so yeah let's get started so like I said before these two cushions are incredibly similar in formula and to quote Edward Avila and Chung Kim it's 99% skincare 1% makeup but don't let that 1% fool you because it packs quite a bit of a punch if you are interested in learning a little bit more about the formula and the dispense system behind the cushion itself then I'll have my review linked up above it's very brief but informative and I highly suggest that you check it out now really jumping into it what is the main difference between these two cushions one of the main difference is the shading the H H plus is said to be your number 21 so it's cooler and has a pink undertone and in turn the A plus is said to be your typical number 23 so it's warmer and has a yellow undertone this is incredibly true if you watch my review for the H plus then you'll see that it's looking a tad bit light on me it does look a lot better in our in natural light than it does in artificial lighting but it's still a little bit too light on me and the A plus you will see me applying it and in natural light and you'll see that it's my true skin tone so it's a lot better suited for me. The other difference is that the H plus is actually meant for dry skin. Now I did not know this. I had previously attributed the fact that and as much as I loved it it just didn't last on me all day and I thought that was due to all of the skincare properties it had affecting the makeup aspect. Now I know that's not necessarily true because the A plus has all the same skincare benefits but it lasts on me all day and that's because it's formulated for combination slash oily skin and you all know that I could become an oily oily mess. So with those two main differences that is why I really prefer the A plus to the H plus even though they're both great cushions. Now let's jump into me applying the cushion and I'll give you some more facts about it and then we'll see it in natural light and we'll come back to wrap up the review. Okay, so the four main extracts that you're going to find in this cushion are Centella Asiatica, Melaleuca, Calendula, and Tea Tree Leaf. What they're going to do is to help reduce inflammation and redness as well as protect the skin, kill bacteria, tighten and firm, and all of those wonderful things. So those are your main skincare benefits, but like I said, it still has that 1% in makeup that does not fall behind because it does have an SPF of 50 slash PA triple plus a medium coverage, a lightweight feel, natural finish, and it is long lasting. However, some things to note and have in mind is that it can shift and it can transfer. So if you tend to be on the oilier side like myself, you're definitely going to want to set it with a powder. What I find so innovative about this cushion is that not only does it make a great makeup product, but it's also healing your skin at the same time. And that's just something that I can't get over and I absolutely love. Now I think that Triadica has created two fabulous cushions here. It is just such a shame in how limiting they are because they only come in one shade each. So if you have dry skin, you only have the pink undertone available. And if you have combination slash oily skin, then you only have the yellow undertone available. I just hope that as they become a better known brand they start to expand in that aspect because I think there's a lot of room for improvement there. Now something they have improved on is how you could purchase them. Previously they were only available on Facebook, now they're actually on Amazon which is where I purchased the A plus from so I'll have all that linked down below. Just have in mind that since Troy Etika is a brand that is very focused on skincare it can be a little bit pricey but having purchased the A plus myself and having loved the H plus for such a long time I can honestly say that if you're willing to invest and or splurge on a item that is both skincare and makeup that really really works and is going to benefit your skin go for it you know I cannot recommend these enough and I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and found it somewhat helpful like always all my links will be down below so that we can stay connected don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified every time I put out a new video Thank you so much for watching, thank you for stopping by, and until next time.